Hi, YouTubers and whatchevers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Well, the really fun thing about doing these videos on this channel, reading all the comments, all the viewers' comments, I really, I really enjoy that and I read all the comments. And uh, those comments very often lead to new ideas for new videos. Uh, one viewer asked me if I owned a Rolls Razor. Yes, I do. And I thought it's time to pull it out and show it to you because I've had it for about, uh, gee, it was almost three years, about two and a half years. And I bought it on eBay and it must have been new old stock and I haven't done anything with it yet um, because I've been looking at uh, all these great razors and soaps and creams and that sort of thing. So I thought I'd show, show you what I have here because I am going to uh, really open it up and really take it apart because this must be new old stock. It came in a beautiful case like this. I don't know if this is leather or not, but it really is beautiful. This Rolls Razor is called the Traveler, and I'm assuming it came with this case because you can travel with it. Anyhow, um, here it is right here. You can see how pristine this is. The price tag is even still there. Isn't that amazing? Also came with an extra blade and case. Really, really nice. And look at this. Here's the actual Rolls Razor here. I'm going to take that out, but right there, the original instructions. How about that? And the case is lined, beautifully lined, and it's all intact. I was just really amazed and blown away by that. Let's set that down. So here you can see the art on the, um, the instructions here. And uh, tells you how to use it and uh, all that good stuff. And I'm assuming that based on the photographs and the way this was designed, I'm thinking that this one dates back to the late 50s, middle to late 50s, something like that. Just looking at the artwork, the photographs, that's, that's my thought. But anyhow, let's take a look at the actual Rolls Razor itself. And I, as I say, this one is in beautiful, beautiful shape. And let me show you what uh, we're looking at here. You have two logos. You have this the logo of a person here. I don't know if they're honing a razor or not. And on this side, you have their patent number and that sort of thing. So this label corresponds to this button on this side, which will remove this panel. And uh, this piece of artwork corresponds to this button here, which will remove this panel. So wherever the artwork is closest to the button, that's the panel that's going to come off. So I believe that this side has the strap. So let's open that up. Let's remove that. And sure enough, there's the leather strop, and you can see it's in absolutely beautiful condition. I might have to condition this, so I bought some ink oil to do that. It's maybe a little bit of a, got a little bit of a chip here, so I think it needs to get some moisture and some, some oil in that. So before I use it, that's what I'm going to do. But inside, again, it's completely packaged. I mean, I've got all this information here. Here's the blade. The blade is still covered. Um, and there's the handle. And uh, here, if I lift this out here, and I pull the handle up, okay, and I pull this out, and that's the actual handle that you'll use to, to um, shave with. And just pulling this out here, here's where the razor head is. This was amazing. I looked at it once before. There's still, there's still some machine oil on that, on that razor. I don't know if you can see, can you see that machine oil there? Preserving it. Isn't that something? So that's, that's pretty amazing. I mean, all these years uh, like that. And of course, there's some information in here about how to set it up and how to, um, how to use the, the mechanism and that sort of thing. So that's kind of neat. So I'm just going to put that back down in there like that. And I'm going to reseat this handle here. Okay, so that's like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, later on, I'm finally going to get around to conditioning this and uh, hopefully we'll be using this down the road. I, I hope to use it. Now, on the other side here is the uh, illustration here of a gentleman, I don't know what he's doing here, but you punch on that, that uh, button and there's the honing stone right there. And again, it's in beautiful shape and um, just a little bit, a piece of paper here separating that. Of course, there's more information there and how to use it. I don't know which, which side is up. That side's up there. You can see that. 
beautiful, beautiful shape. So I am uh, hoping to uh, condition this and, and get it up and running and really do a little more research on the best way to go about that. And um, again, here is, right here is an extra blade. It's an extra blade that came with it. I mean, really nice. So, I mean, and again, I found this on eBay for about $30, $35, and then with the shipping. And the original price here is the Traveler, it's called. Here, I'll show you the price tag here. The Traveler. It's $21.95. How about that? Rolls Razor, the Traveler, $21.95. So this model was sold in the U.S. because it has the USD symbol there. I'll put that in there like that. So that's it. That's my Rolls Razor, and I hope to get it up and running. A friend of mine had a Rolls Razor that belonged to his grandfather, and it dated back to probably World War I, the 1920s, something like that. And it's in fairly good shape, and he showed me how it works, and I thought, wow, I have to get one of those for my collection. So um, I just went up to eBay, and I, I found this one, not thinking that it would be in, in, in this good a shape, and it really is amazing. And I say, I, as I say, I think they call it the Traveler, the Traveler right there, because I think you're supposed to put this in here, put that in there, and then pack that away, and you're, you're ready to go when you have a shave uh, on the road. Um, really is an ingenious device, and um, uh, I'm glad I have one for my collection. I don't know how it's going to shave, and I hope to, uh, uh, you know, do the, um, the maintenance of it before I use it. So if you're familiar with the Rolls Razor and you know a little bit about it, please comment below and let, let me and everyone else know about these because they are terrific. And uh, uh, before I do any of that, I'll read some of your comments so I don't make any missteps because it really is new to me. But boy, oh boy, I got lucky. I got really, really lucky. So I'm definitely going to um, condition it and um, you know look it over, put some oil on the honing stone, Put some mink oil on the uh, on the leather strop, that sort of thing. But uh, again, you know, comment below and let me know if you have one, if you have any advice on to the, on the uh, regarding the care and maintenance of it. And uh, these seem to be plentiful. You can find these in antique stores. You can find them on eBay. Look at yard sales and garage sales. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you could find one exactly like this on eBay for about $30, $35, maybe $40. Bucks. Really, and they really are uh, a neat collector piece, even if you don't shave with it, it's kind of neat to have one of these because a lot of history in that, in, in this item, and uh, really a neat idea. Um, and it's pretty much a, a straight razor on a pole, and you can take the, your strop with you, and um, really, a, really a, a neat idea. All right, hey, that's all I wanted to show you. Thanks very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please share. Please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell next time I upload a video. Um, comment below. Let me know. Do you have a Rolls Razor? Do you have any advice on the care and maintenance of the Rolls Razor? Comment below. Let me know. Please check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other cartoons, other videos like this. And I'll see you again real soon.